أيها الأحبة في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته We would like to welcome one and all uh, to this beautiful program the uh, Jalsa of Fajrul Islam So inshallah while we take a moment I want to welcome all our guests from different parts of South Africa and obviously our guests from here Cape Town inshallah if I can ask everyone to take their seat so we can um, begin the program in the asdaq al hadithi kitabullah the best of speech is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is al quran al kareem so inshallah to open this program with the best speech of Allah we would like to welcome Sheikh Mubarak Atalib to come on the stage and do the opening recitation. And inshallah, we will continue with the program from there. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الله مصلي على سيدنا محمد وعلى ل سيدنا محمد وأصحابه وبارك وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن أراد الآخرة وسعى لا سعى وهو مؤمن فأولئك كان سعيهم مشكورا كلن نمد هؤلاء وهؤلاء من عطاء ربك وَمَا 
وما كان عطاء ربك محظورا انظر كيف فضلنا بعض اللهم على بعض ولا الآخرة أكبر درجات وأكبر تفضيلا لا تجعل مع الله إلها آخر فتقعد مذموما مخذولا وقضى ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه وبالوالدين إحسانا وقضى ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إما يبلغن عندك الكبر أحدهما أو كلاهما أحدهما أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف فلا تقل لهما واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة وقل رب ارحمهما واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة وقل رب 
ارحموما كما ربياني صغيرا ربكم أعلم بما في نفوسكم إن تكونوا صالحين فإنه كان للأوابين غفورا لا تجعل مع الله إلها آخر لا تجعل مع الله إلها آخر فتقعد مذ موما مخذولا وقضى ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا وبالوالدين إحسانا وقضى ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه بالوالدين إحسانا إما يبلغن عندك الكبر أحدهما أو كلاهما أحدهما أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة وقل رب بارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا ربكم أعلم بما في نفوسكم إن تكونوا صالحين فإنه كان للأوابين غفورا 
صدق الله العظيم صدق الله العلي العظيم we just want to say shukran wa jazakallahu khair to Sheikh Mubarak Al-Talib for that beautiful recitation and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase him and protect him and um, grant him the Quran to be his shifa and his baraka in this world and the hereafter. Um, just a quick in terms of a couple few things that stood out in terms of what he was reciting as we both know that the Quran is very beautiful and always doesn't stop being a mesmerization to each and everyone. But in the verses that uh, Sheikh Talib that recited, one of the things that sometimes we look at certain things and we ask ourselves that we assume that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maybe he favors others than others. And when you look in the Quran, كُلَّا نُمِدُّ هَؤُلَاءِ وَهَؤُلَاءِ مِنْ عَطَاءِ رَبِّكِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will give to those who obeys him, who believe in him, and those who doesn't obey him, and those who doesn't believe in him. وَمَا كَانَ عَطَاءُ رَبِّكَ مَحْظُورًا And the provision or the giving of your Lord is not restricted. Allah gives unrest unrestricted. He gives to everyone. He gives to whom he wish. And that is by his rahmah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But also, you look in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he said, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا And this is a very principal thing for us as a Muslim, but we're not going to get much into details, but obviously worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being good to your parents, and make sure when they get old, you are able to look after them. Those are the principles of Islam. Just without further ado, we want to call our uh, teacher, our host, Sheikh Suleiman Salama. I don't think he's the man who need any introduction. He's the man, the reason why we all are here, the man who's been behind the Fajrul Islam, the man who worked tire tirelessly, work day and night to make sure that he give dawah, invite more Muslims, and make sure that, inshallah, hoping that South Africa one day will become a better place because the more Muslim we have in this country, the more chances we have even of having less of a, of a problem, inclu including crime and so on and so forth. So, inshallah, I want to welcome Sheikh Suleiman Salama on the stage to give the, um, vote, the, the welcoming everybody uh, who have attended here today. Sheikh Suleiman Salama, fadal. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف خلقه وسيد المرسلين محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى صحابته وآل بيته ومن اهتدى بهديه واستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد أحبتي في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Actually, we're not supposed to give too much lecture, and even our honorable MC must make his uh, uh, also comment very short, because we have uh, a lot of uh, programs for our children. So we want, with this function, is for our children, not for us to display our uh, muscles and all that. So alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ and in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created jinn and mankind for one reason, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to know Allah as it should be. So this is the method of da'wah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invite people to believe in him first. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لَيَعْبُدُونَ So we are here today to support the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not Sheikh Salama, not Fajr al-Islam. Whatever input we have to contribute towards Fajr al-Islam, either it is dua, 
والله by the visit only by visiting us here it recharge our energy give us more power so inshallah like next year our jalsa must be even better and multiplied many times uh, better than the, the year before so inshallah we are here we will come our uh, guest all of you wallahi all of you are very close to my heart allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept allah man for our guest who come especially from johannesburg we say welcome ahlan wa sahlan you have wallahi a very spe special place in our hearts of cape town all of cape town people because you trip you coming you sacrificing your time and your uh, uh, family time and to come to share us this is a very big support for us jazakumullah khair al jaza and you must remember whosoever came here for this jalsa today and i'm speaking also to our guest from johannesburg and our guest from cape town is the guest of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is was narrated abu huraira radiyallahu anhu said in the hadith rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a man went out of his house to visit another fellow brother in another place or another town. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rasada malikan, rasada malakan. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala identifies sent an angel to meet and speak to that brother on the way in a form of a man. He said, brother, where are you going to? He said, no, I'm going to visit my fellow Muslim brother in that place. Then he told him, هل عليك له من منا؟ Do you have a favor upon you, or we have a favor upon you? So this is why you visit him. He said, No, I'm only visiting him for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And this is what our visitors here today they come in Allah not to show, not we don't have any business. We don't only the love of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So those brothers and sisters who came to visit us today, they are the guests of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So when the man told the angel. No, I only go to visit my brother for the sake of Allah, for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he told him, you must remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you and Allah send you, send me to give you the message that Allah loves you. So we say welcome to everyone, welcome to uh, uh, all the guests who come from near and far, welcome uh, special, our first guest, our brother Muhammad Sidat, Jazallah khairan, he comes specially from Mozambique, to uh, visit us here. Jazakallah khairan. And we say, uh, we just remember to make dua for our uh, spiritual father, Rahmatullah alayh, uh, Brother Munir's father. He was the father of uh, Fajr al-Islam. Alhamdulillah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant him high place in Jannah. And all those diseases who passed away, and inshallah, Allah put sabr in the tranquility of the heart of their family. Shukran wa jazakumullah khairan. As I said, we have a lot of items. We don't want to give too much lectures. We want the children to display their effort also. Jazakumullah khairan. We say shukran to Sheikh uh, Suleiman Salama uh, for welcoming everyone. Now just to begin our program, the first um, group that we have is uh, Philippi group who are going to be doing the Quran and Dua. So I think uh, if we can have uh, those uh, students ready. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are the students of Fajrul Islam Center from Lower Philippi. We started from Crete until now we are attending afternoon classes. My name is Shanila. I am going to read surahs. I will be lahi mina shaitan rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim. قل يا أيها القافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم 
ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يذوه اليدين ولا أهوذ على طعام المسكين فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساء الذين هم يراءون ويمنعون الماء صدق الله العظيم My name is Amina. I'm here to read the month of Islam and Kalima Tawayiba and Ahadif. This is the month of Islam. Muharram, Swafa, Rabi Al-Awa, Rabi Thani, Jamadhan, Ulla, Jamadhan, Tain, Rashab, and Shaban. Ramadhan, Inshawal, Dhul Qadr, and Dhul Hijab. This is the month of Islam. Kalima Tawayiba, La Ilaha, إلا الله محمد رسول الله and there is no God besides Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من لم يروا كل زور الأمر به وجه فليس لله حاجة في أن يدع وطعمه وشرابه my name is Martina. I will be reciting for you two surahs. Surah Anna Nasir Usi is with the translation of this issue. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Eka meni lika ala unkulungulu ono musa ono siyao. Ku idaja nasurullahi walfat. Uma ufika usi zulunga ala kanyo nungoba. Bari aita nasa yade khulun na fidin in lahi afuwaja. Futi nawe ubona abandu bengena Yengole nika ala ngobu nizi Fasabi bihamdi rokpika Wastakfiru Innahu kana takubaba Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Eka meni lika ala unkulungulu ono musa yunese au Kulu wallahu ahade Itie na uala unkulungulu munyevu Allahu suamade O Allah, O Mingo, na pagate, la mi adi di wa la mi ulade. A kazali futi a kazelwanga, wa la mi akun lahu kufuan ahade. Futi a keno fani sa yana no ye. My name is Abdullah. I am here to read. Who believes in Islam? All praise be to Allah, the Rabb of the worlds, most merciful. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger and last prophet of Allah. A Muslim wishes good and reward for all Muslims, but does not promise by his own judgment that anyone in particular will be granted paradise or be sent to hell. A Muslim believes that their sense of faith is in the same in the heart of every Muslim. Grades among them differ according to their difference in piety. A Muslim believes that all believers are guarded and protected by Allah. Best of them are those who are most obedient to Allah. A Muslim believes that real faith is the belief in Allah, his books, his angels, his messengers, the year after the day of judgment. We call on Allah to witness that this is our faith. We pray so that he can aid us in holding to it. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Give them one more round of applause, please. Insha'Allah, um, our next on the list, we have uh, student Zubair, who will talk about patience. If I can have student Zubair on the stage, please. to read patient and perseverance the prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had a difficult life while he was spreading the message of Islam yet he did not give up his task he continued to persevere and was patient 
In order to help him in his difficult task, Allah sent down the following verse. Rejected where the message was before you. With patience and constancy, they bore rejection and persecution until our help reached them. Once a person has accepted Islam, he has accepted the unity of Allah and the message of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Therefore, when things are difficult, he never gives up hope, nor does he utter a word of despair. He thinks of many difficulties the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went through, and it helps him to take courage. He becomes blind to the temptation around him and obeys only Allah's commands. A Muslim should regard both good fortune and bad fortune as a test. Allah tests us to enable us to see for ourselves if we are grateful for his favors and to see if we are patient and faithful when his favors are withdrawn. The Prophet has said, Wonders are the believer's affairs, for they are in good all his affairs, and this is only for the mumin. When something pleasing happens to him, he, perceive, he is grateful to Allah and that is good for him. And when something pleasing happens to him, he perceives patiently, and that is good for him. A Muslim should therefore remember these words of the Prophet and be grateful to Allah when things go well. When things go wrong, he should keep praying patiently and trust in Allah. He should not be angry. He should not give up hope. Allah is testing him if he is patient, he will pass the test. Insha'Allah and find with Allah a trade reward. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair. Um, next, we want to welcome a student, Imran, who will do uh, Surah Al Fajr. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Imran. I come from Montahi Fajrul Islam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال عصر والشفع والوتر والليل إذا يسر هل في ذلك قسم الذي حجر ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد إرم ذات العماد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وثمود الذين جابوا الصخر بالواد وفرعون ذي الأوتاد الذين تغوا في البلاد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فصب عليهم ربك سوت عذاب إن ربك لبالمرصاد فأما الإنسان إذا ما بتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما وأما إذا ما بتلاه فقدر عليه رزقا فيقول ربي أهانا كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تحاذون على تعام المسكين وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتحبون المال حبا جما كلا إذا دكت الأرض دكا دكا وجاء ربك والملك صفا صفا وجيء يومئذ بجهنم يومئذ يتذكر الإنسان وأن له الذكرى يقول يا ليتني قدمت لحياتي فيومئذ لا يعذب عذابه أحد ولا يوثق وثاقه أحد يا أيت عن نفس المطمئنة ارجعي إلى ربك راضية مرضية فادخلي في عبادي وادخلي جنتي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته We just want to say, want to say شكرا to the student Imran 
Now our next uh, student on the list is uh, Noor, who will discuss Iman Mufassal. If we can have Noor on the stage. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ismi Nur, ata'allamu fi markaz Fajar Islam Center fi Kailicha, ji'itu bitawhid al-iman mufasal, the faith in detail. All praise be to Allah, the Lord of the universe. May Allah bless Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his household and his companions. May Allah bless everyone. May Allah bless the entire ummah. Al iman mufaswal, the faith in detail. Aman tu billahi. I believe in Allah. Allah alone is sufficient for us, and He is the best deposit of affairs for us. Wa malaikatihi. I believe in his angels. Angels are heavenly creatures created by God, Allah. And the existence of angels is one of the fundamental articles of faith, Iman. In Islam, Muslims believe that angels were created by Allah, God, from Nur, light. Wakutubihi, I believe in his books. Some of his books are the Zabur book. The Zabur is the book of Allah Almighty, which was sent to Prophet Dawood alayhi salam. The Taurat book. The Taurat book was the book of Allah Almighty, which was sent to Prophet Musa alayhi salam. The Injil. The Injil is the holy book of Allah Almighty, which was sent to Prophet Isa alayhi salam. The Holy Quran. The Holy Quran is the fourth and last sacred book of Allah Almighty, which was sent to the last Prophet. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him. Wa rusulihi, I believe in his messengers. Some of his messengers are Prophet Adam alayhi salam, Prophet Idris alayhi salam, Prophet Nuh alayhi salam, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, Prophet Ismail alayhi salam, Prophet Ishaq alayhi salam, Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam, Prophet Yaqub alayhi salam, Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, Prophet Dawood alayhi salam, Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, Prophet Zakaria alayhi salam, Prophet Yahya alayhi salam, Prophet Shu'aib alayhi salam, Prophet Swali alayhi salam, Prophet Dhul Kifli alayhi salam, Prophet Ilyas alayhi salam, Prophet Yunus alayhi salam, Prophet Hud alayhi salam, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him. Wal yawmil akhiri, I believe in the last day, day of judgment. Wal qudri khairi wa sharihi min alahi ta'ala, I believe in faith that good and bad comes from Allah. Wal ba'athi, ba'ad al-mawti, I believe in the life after death. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We just say shukran to the students, Noor, for that beautiful. But uh, our next student is uh, Washima. She's going to be discussing about Naeem al Um If I can have Washima on the stage, please. Washima, she started with Fajr al-Islam from the crash level, from the crash, that's when she started. And now, mashallah, she's all grown up. That means it's been a long journey with Fajr al-Islam. So please, if we can just give a, a round of applause for Washima, please, on the stage. Zakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Washima. I come from Fatural Islam Center from Lower Philippi. And today I will be discussing with you a speech, and the title of the speech is Naimul Jannah. What is heavenly bliss? 
It means gladness, highest degree of happiness, blessedness, exalted felicity, or heavenly joy. This is what I am going to discuss now. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Nahmadullah Rabbal Alameen. Hamdan Ibada Shakirina Dakirin. Hamdan Yuafin Malaha Alayna wa Yukafi U Mazida. Was Salatan was Salam and Allah Lima bi Uthi Rahmatin Lil Alameen. Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alayhi wa Salam. Allah Humma Salli wa Salim wa Barik Alayhi. Salatan was Salam and Daimin Mutalazimin Illa Yomidin. We praise Allah, the Lord of the world, a praise to his thankful and remembrance servants, and praise Allah's blessings upon us, and peace and blessings be upon the one who was sent to our world, our master Muhammad, peace be upon him. Internal prayers and peace will be inseparable until the day of judgment. Amma ba'd, faya ayyuhal nasu ittaqullahu ta'ala, wa sari'u ila maghfiratin min rabbikum wa jannatin arduha, samawatu wal ardu, wa idat lil muttaqin. As for after, O oh, people, fear Allah Almighty and has turned to forgiveness from your Lord in paradise, as wide as the heavens and the earth, and prepare for the righteous. Ibad Allah, Yaqulu Allah Ta'ala, Wa bashari alladhina amanu wa amilu salihat, anna lahum jannatin tajri min tahtiha al-anhar. Servants of Allah, Allah say in a holy book of Quran, and give glad tidings to those who believe and do righteous deeds, that they will have a garden beneath which rivers flows. Basma ma bashara bihi ibadahu So listen, Allah bless you according to what the Prophet of Allah has preached to his righteous servants. Waqala al-Mustafahu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqulu Allahu ta'ala أَعَدَتُ الْإِبَادِي يَسْوَالِهِينَ مَلَا أَيِّنٍ رَأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمْعَتْ وَلَا خَطُرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَّرٍ فَكْرَوُ إِنْ شِئْتُمْ فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِنْ كُرَّةِ أَيُّنٍ Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Allah says, I have prepared for my righteous servants what no eyes have seen, and no ears have heard, and no human heart has conceived. So read if you wish. So no soul knows what is hidden for them in the comfort of the eye. وَقَالَ إِذَا دَخَلَ أَهْلُ الْجَنَّةِ الْجَنَّةَ يُنَادِي مُنَادِ إِنَّا لَكُمْ أَنْ تَحْيَوْا فَلَا تَمُوتُوا أَبَدًا وَإِنَّا لَكُمْ أَنْ تَصِحُوا فَلَا تَسْقَامُوا أَبَدًا وَإِنَّا لَكُمْ أَنْ تَشِبُوا فَلَا تُهْرَمُوا أَبَدًا وَإِنَّا لَكُمْ أَنْ تَنْعَمُوا فَلَا تَبْعَثُوا أَبَدًا And he said, if people of paradise and has paradise, a herald calls out, it is for you to live and never die. It is for you to be healthy and never be sick. It is for you to grow and never grow old. And it is for you to be blessed and never be miserable. وَلَّمَا سَعَلَى صُحَابَةُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ عَنْ بِنَا إِلْجَنَّةٍ قَالَ لَبِنَاتٌ مِنْ فِدْوَةٍ وَلَبِنَاتٌ مِنْ دَحْبٍ وَمِلَاتُهَا الْمِسْكُ الْأَذْفَرُ من يدخلها ينعموا ولا يبعثوا ويخلدوا ولا يموتوا لا تبلى ثيابهم ولا يفنى شبابهم When the companion asked the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the building of Channa Paradise, he said, Channa Paradise was built with bricks of silver and bricks of gold and its plaster was made of misk and its pearls were made of and its pebbles are made of pearls and rubies and its soil is saffron. Whoever enters it will be blessed without distress and will not die. Their clothes will not wear out and their youth will not fade away. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We say shukran to Washima and please, if you can give her one more round of applause because that was very beautiful. And this is what Fajr Islam is investing in. This is what Fajr Islam has been doing for the past few years, bringing up people like Washima. Our next uh, on the list is the um, crash, um, Filippi crash student. If I can have them on the stage, and that will be our last group, and then we will break for Salatul Asr. If I can have the Filippi crash student on the stage.
just before we start, if I can just uh, address the, the teachers and those who are um, preparing the student to come on the stage. Please, if you can just look at the program, make sure the students are ready so we don't take too long from the period for them to work on the stage. Just prepare them, then they come on the stage, and then we continue with the program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our dear parents, we are students of Ajeru Islam Center from Lower Philippines. We are going to read Quran, Surah to Fatiha. Aundu bilai minasyaito niraji. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alami. Alhamdulillahi maliki omiti. Ia kana butwa ia kana stai. Iti nasi roto mustai. Sirotola tima el anta alehim Warima kutupi alehim Waladonim Amin In the name of Allah Most precious, most merciful Praise be to Allah The long of all the world the all merciful, the most merciful, the king of the day of judgment. You alone worship, and you alone ask for help. Help us on the straight way, the way of those who have blessed, Lord of those who end their own game, Lord of the misguided. Eka menika ala som na balo som ngeba Intu miso zongke mas bebu ala Inko som londo lo swa mas be Usom da balo som ngeba Umla ulwe minyom kwebo Kwewe weto si mulwayo Kwewe weto si nalang medo kuye Siko kelele enjelen echeche Injela yabo baba lolo akule ba pesu wapo Ay kwe yay ben nubo ya kwe ba pesu wapo Inka biyone yabo bala shekayo Ongo si nga ben chalo Suratul asir A utu pilay minasadol ni raji Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wan asil Inla insala la fi khusil Ila la di la amanu Wa amiswai hakin Wa tawasaw bi hakin Wa tawasaw bi swaber In the name of Allah most gracious, most merciful, praise be Allah. Please, can we do better than that? A round of applause, please, for them. Um, I was just informed since we have uh, some of our brothers and sisters who are Hanafi, so we'll make Salat al Asr at uh, 5 o'clock. So for now, if I can have the um, Montague group of students who are going to do the Nasheed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our dear parents, we are students of a Jerusalem center from Lower Philippines. We are going to read, mention the names of the Prophet of Allah. Number one, Nabi Adam was the first man Allah created and the first prophet. Number two, Nabi Noah. Number three, Nabi Ibrahim. Number four, Nabi Yunus. Number five, Nabi Yusuf. Number six, Nabi Musa. Number seven, Nabi Dawood. Number 
Doen bij de naam van Habibi Ya Muhammad. Ya man solay tabi kulil ambia. Ya man fil kol bi karak matulina. Ya man alat de kluban bil Islam. Ya Habibi Ya Sabi O Ya Rasulullah. Bi umi wa abi fadai tu kasaidi. Salatu wa salam alayka ya Nabi Habib ya Muhammad Ataita bi salami wal huda Muhammad Habib ya ya Muhammad Ya rahmatan lil alamina ya Muhammad Ya man halayta hayatu Nabi iman Ya man bisa malik alam dalif san. Ya man awat tak keluar nabil Quran. Ya Habib ya Sabio ya Rasulullah. Di umi wa abi pada itu kan sahidi. Salatu wa salam alaika ya Nabi Habib ya Muhammad. Atai tabi salam waluda Muhammad Habib ya ya Muhammad ya rahmatan lil alamin ya Muhammad Sallallahu ala kadamil ambia Muhammad Muhammad rahmatul lil alamin Rahmatul lil alamin Muhammad Muhammad Rahmatul lil alamin Rahmatul lil alamin Muhammad Muhammad Rahmatul lil alamin Rahmatul lil alamin Habib ya Salami wal huda Muhammad Habib ya Ya Muhammad Ya rahmatan lil alamin Ya Muhammad Habib ya Muhammad Atai tabi salami wal huda Muhammad Habib ya Ya Muhammad Ya rahmatan lil alamin Ya Muhammad Sallallahu ala Fatamil Ambiya Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Wa barakatuh We say shukran to those students For that beautiful nasheed 
Uh, our next student is um, Farid. If we can have uh, Farid on the stage. And he's going to be reciting Surah al Naziat. My name is Farid. I'm from Montiki Fajrul Islam. Audu Billahi Mina Shaitan Yer Rajim. Bismillah Yer Rahman Yer Rahim. When Naziati Rokka, when Nashitati Nashta, Wasabihati Sabaha. فالسابقات سبقا فالمدبرات أمرا يوم ترجف الرادفة تتبهها الرادفة قلوب يومئذ واجفة أبصارها خاشعة يقولون إنا لمردودون في الخافرة أإذا كنا عداما ناخرة قالوا تلك إذا كرة خاسرة فإنما هي زجرة واحدة فإذا هم بالساهرة هل أتاك حديث موسى إذ ناداه ربه بالواد المقدس توى اذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى فكل هل لك إلى أن تزكى وأهديك إلى ربك فتخشى فأراه الآية الكبرى فكذب وعصى ثم أذبر يسعى فخشر فنادى فقال أنا ربكم الأعلى فأخده الله نكال الآخرة والأولى إن في ذلك لعبرة لمن يخشى أأنتم أشد خلقا أم السماء بناها رفع سمكها فسواها وأغطش ليلها وأخرج ذخاها والأرض بعد ذلك نخاها أخرج منها ماءها ومرعاها والجبال أرساها متاعا لكم ولأنعامكم فإذا جاءت التامة الكبرى يوم يتذكر الإنسان ما سعى وبرزت الجحيم لمن يرى فأما من طغى وآثر الحياة الدنيا فإن الجحيم هي المأوى وأما من خاف مقام ربه وأنها النفس هن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المأوى يسألونك عن الساعة أيان مرساها فيما أنت من ذكراها إلى ربك منتهاها إنما أنت منذر من يخشاها كأنهم يوم يرونها لم يلبثوا إلا 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 عشية أو ضحاها صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته We say shukran to the student um, Farid for that uh, beautiful recitation If I can have the student Abdullah and Abdul Rahman who are going to do the poem on the stage A round of applause for them please Inshallah, the clapping seems to be a bit uh, um, softer. I don't know if everyone is hungry or you all are tired. Please, can we give them a round of applause, please? Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's me, me Abdul Rahman. It's me, Abdullah. We are the hey, students from, from Fajrul Islam, Islam Center in Kailicha. Today we're going to present a poem. 
by Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah Rahimullah Ta'ala. The title of the poem is Lamia. Ya sa'ili an madhabi waqidati Ruzikal huda man lil hidayati as'alu Isma kalama muhaqqiqin fi qawlihi La yang tani an huwa la yatabattalu Hubbu swahabati kullihim li madhabun Wa muwatatu korobabiha atawasalu Walikullihim katirunala wa fadailun Lakinna masritiku minhum afdalu Wa aqolo fil qur'ani ma jaat bihi Ayatuhu fawal karimul munzalu Wa aqolo qala allahu jalla jalaluhu Wal mustafal hadi wala ata awalu Wa jamiru ayati sifati umiruha Hakan kaman kalak dirazul awalu Wa arudu uhtataha ila nukuliha Wa asanuha an kullima yutakhayalu Qubakhal liman nabadal Qur'an wa ra'ahu Wa iza statalla yakulu kalal akhtalu Wal mu'minu nayarawna haqqar rabbahum Wa ila sama ibi khairin qaifin yanzelo Wa uqiru bil mizani wal hawdil ladhi Aruju bi anni min huriyan anhalu Wa kata siratu yumatu fawka jahannamin Famusallamu najin wa akhadu mukhmalu Wa naru yaslaha syaltiyu bi hikmatin Wa kata taqiyu ilal jinani sayadukulu Wa liquli hayna qilin fi qabarihi Ama ilunyo karin huhuna kawayu salo Hadha tiqatu syafi'i wa malikin Wa abihani fatatuma akhwata yung kalo Fa ini tabata sabilahum famuafakun Wa ini bitata tafama alaykum wa walu Oh, the one who has a Bama doctrine and creed Certainly bestow in the guidance is you also guidance. Listen to the speech of the one who knows the truth of his statement without separating from it, nor replacing it with something else. Love and companions, all of them without exception is from your school of doctrine and love of the nearest one, the Ahupe. Do I seek as a means of getting closer to God? And every one of them has a station and a shine excellence. However, amongst them, our Papa God is the most excellent. And as a recount to Quran, all it that Jesus come. In these verses, for it is a noble revolution. And as a Allah, the mighty and majesty says, the chosen one prophet, peace and blessing be upon him. And all the verses of the other books, I pass them on. In truth, just as first and best of generation are transmitted. And I return the comparison and responsibility towards them to those who transmitted them. And I return to compare and I protect them from all that is featured with respect to their realities. Disgrace for the one who took the Quran behind his back. And when to all to provide evidences are actual saved. And the believers will see the Lord intrude in the hall of the and the heaven toss it is end without describing now. And affirm the skills which are awoke to be among sisters will be quenched by it. And a bridge is turned over hell fire for which all were paused. So either one may save and deliver the other for sake who will fall. And the rash one may be burned in fire by divine wisdom. And the pious one will enter gardens. And every maternal son living person will live in his grave. His deeds come in him and for which he will be questioned. This is the creed of Imam Shafi and Imam Malik and Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Ahmad which has been transmitted. So if you follow the path, then success has been printed. And if you innovate, then no support whatsoever do you have. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our next student on the stage, that is Ishaq, who is going to do the Quran. If we can have Ishaq on the stage. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ishaq. 
I'm a student from Fashion Islam Center in Kailicha. I have came with the recitation of the Quran, Surah Al Abbas. This surah it was revealed in Madina, in, in Makkah, during the early days of the prophethood. This surah is started with an event of a poor blind man called Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum, who came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to seek knowledge about Islam and the Quran. While he came to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was deeply engaged in explaining Quran and Islam to the, to the leaders of the Quraysh, such as, such as Abu Jahli, Abbas, Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib, and some others. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was hopeful that they will, they will, he was hopeful that he will attract them to Islam, but suddenly he was interrupted by the poor blind man. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam naturally he did not like frequent, frequent interruptions, so he turned away from the blind man. From the blind man, and this, in that moment, it is when the verses were revealed, and this surah it also explained about what will happen in the day of judgment. A'udhu billahi minash rajim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عبس وتولى أن جاءه الأعمى وما يدريك لعله يزكى أو يذكر فتنفعه ذكرى Amma man istaghna fa'anta lahu tasadda wa ma alayka alla yazzakka wa amma man jaaka yasaa wa huwa yakhsha fa'anta anhu talaha kalla inna tathkira فَمَنْ شَاءَ ذَكَرَ فِي صُحُفٍ مُقَرَّبَ مَرْفُوعَةٍ مُطَهَّرَ بِأَيْدِي سَفَرَ كِرَامٍ بَرَرَ قُتِلَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا أَكْفَرَ مِنْ أَيِّ شَيْءٍ خَلَقَ من نطفة خلقه فقدر ثم السبيل يسر ثم أماته فأقبر ثم إذا شاء أنشر كلا لما يقض ما أمر فلينظر الإنسان إلى طعامه أنا سببنا الماء سبا ثم شققنا الأرض شقا فأنبتنا فيها حبا وعنبا وقذبا وزيدونا ونخلا وحدائق خلبا وفاكهة وأبا متاع لكم ولأنعامكم فإذا جاءت الصاخة يوم يفير المرء من أخيه وأمه وأبيه وصاحبه وبني لكل مرم يومئذ شأن يغني وجوه يومئذ مسفرة ضاهكة مستبشرة ووجوه يومئذ عليها غبرة ترهقها قطرة أولئك هم الكفرة الفجرة صدق الله العظيم
to say shukran to the student is hard for that beautiful rendition uh, of Abasa. If I can uh, welcome on the stage the Kai Licha Crutch student, please. A round of applause for the student, please.
seven tails of the week and alphabet. Twelve months of the year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, end of the year. Al-Rusana, Muharab, Safar, Rabi'ul Awal, Rabi'ul Tani, Jamadul Awal, Jamadul Tani, Rajab, Shaban, Ramadan, Shawan, Dil Kaida, and Dil Hijam. Seven days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, end of the week. I am in Aspuhu, Al Ignai, Al Tulata, Al Arbia, Al Hamis, Al Juma, Al Sabat, Al Ahad. English alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N, M, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, L, Y, Z. Arabic alphabet Alif, Ba, Da, Da, Jim, Ha, Ho, Dal, Dal, Ro, Za, Si. Masha Allah, Masha Allah. You still? Okay, go ahead. A poem, poem about the care of Allah in Allah's eyes. You are the only one who stands in the way in Allah's eyes. Your salam means more than peace in Allah's eyes. Your mistakes are no secrets and his love is still there. In Allah's eyes, truth is all you know. Glory as you are, O oh Allah, and reach your praise. And blessed is your name, and exalted is your majesty. And none has the right to be worshipped but you. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless these students and based on the work of the Fajr Islam, what they're doing, we can see that Islam, the future of Islam in South Africa, inshallah, is going to be bright. Uh, for now, we're going to break for Salatul Asr. If I can have a student of Fajr Islam to come and make the adhan for Salatul Asr, inshallah, we will continue, presume the program after Salatul Asr. Jazakumullah khair. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah Ashadu anna Muhammad Muhammad al-Rasulullah Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah Salaam Hayya ala al-salaam Hayya ala al-falaam Oh, 
My name is Amina. I'm a senior from Fatural Islam Center from Loa Philippi, and I'm here to give you short advice about sincerity. It is narrated in the hadith that Abu Huraira radiallahu anhum narrates from Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Surely Allah ta'ala doesn't look at your body, nor your appearance, but he looks at your heart. Morals to be learned. Allah Ta'ala looks at the intention of a person and not his outward appearance. If an ibadah is being undertaken for the example haji, but this is not done for the pleasure of Allah, but for name and fame. Although this act is vicious by nature, it will be rejected by Allah. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has narrated, O oh people, I fear you from the committing zirka sikha. The companions radiallahu anhum acquired as to what zirka sikha was. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, replied, to do actions for show. He who does actions for show will on the day of Qiyamah be told the results for these actions should be sought from whom he wished to please. Amina. The example of it in circle. Amina, just a second. Uh, please, can I request everyone to pay attention? There's a lot of noise coming from your side. So please, if we can just try to pay attention and not um, cause any disturbance. Jazakumullah khair. The example of an encircle. A wise saint once mentioned an example of those who do actions without seeking the pleasure of Allah. He said, The example is like a person who fills his money purse with pebbles instead of money. Such a person will not benefit from the pebbles in any way. People think his money bank being full will think he's a worthy person, but he knows the, the reality of it and knows that the pebbles won't be able to fulfill his needs. In a similar manner, those who do deeds for others are thought to be pious and Allah fearing by others, but in the sign of Allah, they have nothing. Sayyidina Ali, he says, there are four signs of a person who does things for show. Number one, in the privacy, he is lazy in doing good deeds. Number two, in company, he is eager in doing good actions. Number three, those actions he is praised for doing. He increases performance of such. Number four, those actions which he is reprimanded for doing, he decreases performance of such. My dear Muslims, for the acceptance of good deeds, there are four criteria which should be fulfilled. Number one, ilmu, knowledge. Actions done with ignorance makes it impossible for the action to be correct. Number two, niya, intention. The action should be done with the intention of it becoming a source of reward. Some actions are not expected without intention. Number three, swabur, patience, to endure patience and establishing an action. Number four, ikhlas, sincerity. The action should be done solely for the pleasure of Allah. Without, without ikhlas, the action will be rejected. To do any action without intending to please Allah will be deceiving Allah. Save yourself from committing shirk, assigning partners into Allah. A person who does things for others besides the Almighty will be called in four names on the day of Qiyamah. Number one, O Khafir, disbeliever. Number two, O Fajr, disobedient. Number three, O Khad, deceiver. Number four, O Khasir, the one whose action shall be destroyed. Your action was in vain. There is no portion of reward for you. Abu Bakara says, good actions are like the example of a glass. If you are not cautious with it, it will crack a break and cannot be put together again. Likewise, good actions get destroyed by doing it for sure or self-ego. These things remove the reward from such an action. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We say shukran to Amina, but also just want to say shukran to you for at least paying attention to these young students. Because the moment they notice that you listen to them, and that is a good encouragement for them. So it's very important that we have less discussion so we can at least give them that encouragement to listen to them and focus on them because that's the that's reason why we're here today. The next student uh, that I want to welcome on the stage, that is uh, Rahma. And she's going to talk to us about a virtue of a mother. 
Rahma, please, on the stage. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Rahma, a student from Fajrul Islam Sand and Kailicha, and today I'll be presenting you a poem. The title of the poem says, Dear Mom. Dear Mom, to the woman that loved me before I was born, to the woman that held my heart long before it had formed, to the woman who was left sleepless from dust until dawn, with weakness upon weakness for nine months along, telling herself it would all be worth it soon. She rest for sure, as she finally made it through to the hospital ward. It was love at first sight, the second she saw me. I mean, she is the type of woman that would give up her only slippers just to make sure my toes are warm. She'd always favored me despite the fact she always needed it more. Should wake up early every single morning to stand freezing in the cold, hanging up the clothes that to worn, standing at the stove for hours, cooking bowls of food to swim. And whenever we're not at home, her heart will be torn. I mean, she can never sleep whenever we were gone. She'll stay up all night next to, next to the phone, although I'll never call. So she sends me text messages. Please. I can't sleep. Just let me know that you're safe and secure. And whenever I was sick, should always know what was the cure. I mean, the love she gave to me was the best medicine that was pure. A prescription of tea and honey. And in my culture, um what more could I ask for? Alhamdulillah. Oh, praise to the Lord. You did it all for me and not once ever asked for a reward. I mean, I still remember the nights when I was small. I could never go to sleep until I called to you out from the bedroom door. The love you gave to me all these years, it's impossible to ignore. We love your mothers. We're sorry we have never told you all this before. We're sorry for everything, our moms. We are for it all. We're sorry for saying abusive words to you every time you ask me to complete a simple chore. We're sorry for saying abusive words to you every time you ask me to complete a simple chore. It does not make less of us, your daughters, to give you a hand whenever your arms get sore. We are sorry again and again for all the promises we fell short. We can't give you the life you wish for, the cars you dreamt of, the countries you wish to explore. But most of all, we're sorry for the pain that I caused, for the night you didn't sleep and for all those mystic calls. The broken walls and the fights we had. The dirty room at the messy floor and the clothes that were not packed back into their drawer. The sacrifices you've made that I never ever once recalled. Like when you became our mother. It meant you have to move away from yours. I know how much you love her and miss her. I know it cuts you deep like a sword. But if it was up to me, I would let you see her as much as I can afford. So, for na so from now on, forgive us, our mothers. Forgive us for it all. Forgive us for everything we have ever done to you since we're young. Stupid and dumb, just looking for fun. Dear mom, I love you. I love you, Oma. I love you. I promise to never put anybody else above you, nor let anybody between you. Even if we get married, I promise you will be our queen because... There's no words in this world that can let you know how much you really mean to us. Nor is anything in this world that can, that can repay you. So instead, I pray for you, that Allah has mercy on you, the same way you had mercy on me when I was small. Dear mom, I have one request for you since, I have one request for you before you leave. Since Allah put paradise beneath your feet, ask Allah to put paradise be where we finally meet. Okay. 
to offer my mother. Allah, dear mother, may every tear that is, has ever fallen from tired eyes on my behalf become a river for you in Jannah. May Almighty Allah have mercy on you the same way he had mercy on me when I was small. Oh, our Lord, oh, our Lord, please, oh, our Lord, please have mercy on us and save us from humiliation in the hereafter and save us from punishment in the world. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We say uh, shukran, and that was very, very beautiful. Um, our next students who are coming on the program, that will be Abasha and Salima, and they're going to talk to, our, talk to us about Islamic calendar and dua. If I can have those students on the stage, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On Sasfar Muntihimasit in Os Hanika Bed for us yet of say. Ya bed for us yet. Bismillahi wa Allah barakatilahi diha bed for us nap. Allahumma bi ismika amudu wa ahiyah in osan dahdi latiyah yan azwahi tibia azinan dhri astalata fi ghazaba afaif azwabza ses asita siyaba asa aba aak astamaniya niyaha astisa tin as asara in osan imana faniya obse imana faniya haram safa rabiu awal rabiu tani tis araman sin islam jumadal ullah jumadal ukhra rajab in saban ramadan 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 in sawam dul kaada in dul hijah tis araman sin islam Mukharam Safa Rabiu Awal Rabiu Tani Tis Arman Sin Islam Jumadal Ulla Jumadal Ukhra Rajab Eng Sabah Ramadhan 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 Eng Sawal Dul Kaada Eng Dul Hijjah Tis Arman Sin Islam Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, next, we, can we have uh, student Hussein who is going to recite the Quran, Surah Tusaf. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Hussein. I am a student from Fajarul Islam Center in Kailij. I'm here to recite Surah Al Swaf. Aoudu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. سبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لما تقولون ما لا تفعلون كبر مقتا عند الله أن تقولوا ما لا تفعلون إن الله يحب الذين يقاتلون في سبيله صفا كأنهم صفا كأنهم بنيان مرسوس 
وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ لِمَ تُؤْذُونَنِي وَقَدْ تَعْلَمُونَ أَنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا أَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ والله لا يهدي القوم الفاسقين وإذ قال عيسى بن مريم يا بني إسرائيل إني رسول الله إليكم إني رسول الله إليكم مصدقا لما بين يدي من التوراة ومبشرا برسول يأتي من بعد اسمه أحمد فلما جاءهم بالبينات قالوا هذا سحر مبين ومن أذلم ممن افتروا على الله الكذب وهو يدعى إلى الإسلام يريدون ليطفئوا نور الله بأفواههم والله متم نوره ولو كره الكافرون هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ودين الحق ليذره على الدين كله وعلى الدين كله ولو كره المشركون يا أيها الذين آمنوا يا أيها الذين آمنوا هل أدلكم على تجارة تنجيكم على تجارة تنجيكم من عذاب عليم صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Our next students on the stage If we can have Asia and Mariam Asia and Mariam on the stage And they're going to talk to us about the Usul Sunnah Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Asia. My name is Mariam. We are the students from Fatherhood Islam Center in Kailicha. We are here to present Usul Sunnah by Imam Ahmad bin Hamba Rahimullah. Kola Imam Ahmad bin Hamba Rahimullah. Imam Ahmad bin Hamba, may Allah have mercy on him, said, Usul Sunnah ti indana, the fundamental principles of the Sunnah according to us are, Adama suku bima kana alayhi ashabu rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Hold on to that which the companions of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Way upon wal iqida'u bihim And to follow them strictly Wadaw kul bida'i And to abandon all innovations Wa kullu bin adin faya dalaladun and every innovation is misguidance. What are pul khusumati wal chulusi ma'a ashabul ahwa'i and to abandon useless arguments and to abandon sitting with the people of desires. What are pul mirai wal jidali wal khusumati fitin and to abandon disputes and debates and arguments in the religion. Wa sunnadu indana ataru Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And the sunnah according to us is the statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Wa sunnah tu tu fasirul Qur'an Wa hiya dala ilul Qur'an And the sunnah explains the Qur'an And it is the guy said Wa sunnah tu tu fasirul Qur'an Wa hiya dala ilul Qur'an and the sunnah according to us is the statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
Al-imanu bil qadari khairihi wa syarrihi wa tasdiqu bil ahadithi fihi wa imanu biha la yukalu lima wa kaifa inna ma huwa tasdiqu wa imanu biha and to avenge in the divine degree both a good and bad and to believe in the hadith regarding it and to avenge regarding it and you will not say why and how regarding to the degree of Allah. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَعْرِفْ تَفْسِيرَ الْحَدِيثِ وَيَعْلُوهُ أَغْلُوهُ فَقَدْ كُفِيَ دَارِكَ وَأُكِّمَ لَهُ فَعَلَيْهِ الْإِيمَانُ بِهِ وَتَصِيمُ لَهُ مِدْلُ عَدِيدِ تَمَّتُ الرِّسَالَةُ وَالْحَمْدُ اللَّهِ وَقْبِ الْعَلَمِينَ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Brothers and sisters, this is a very hard work from the Fajr al-Islam that they've been doing, and to be quite honest, it's very difficult, especially considering the background and the language of these students where they come from. So, I think we all can see the hard work that has been happening around here, and inshallah, we're gonna continue with the program. Um, I hope you're not tired. <laughs> We're almost done, inshallah. It's almost, we're not far from Maghrib, inshallah. Um, the next student, that will be uh, Hassan. He's going to talk to us about three people awarded double. So, inshallah, if you can have Hassan on the stage. Assalamu As alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. اسمي حسن أتعلم في مركز فجر الإسلام في كايليتشا إن كيب تاون جيتو بالحديث ثلاثة تلاهم أجران ثري تابسة بيبولو لف تابور رواد أدو تي أوف جاجمنت عن أبي موسى رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ثلاثة لهم أجر. أبو موسى من الله بيبليثيم. رحمة الله بروفيت محمد بيس بابونيم سيد. ثري تاسع people who left Abu Road on the day of judgment. رجل من أهل الكتاب آمن بالنبيه وآمن مب وآن وآمن بالمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. A man from the people of the book, a Jew or a Christian who believe in his prophet, Moses, Moses, Isa, Jesus, peace be upon them. Before Prophet Muhammad was sent, and before his call reached him, and when the Prophet Muhammad was sent, and his call to Islam reached him, he believed in that he would receive the reward. While Abdul Mamluk, إذا أدى حق الله وحق مواليه. A slave who fulfilled the truth to towards Allah. He worshiped Allah the Almighty and carries out the truth that his master assist him. In the best manner, he will receive the reward. Warotu luka anat indahu amatu yat uha. Fa adabaha, fa asna taadibaha. Wa alamaha, fa asna taalimaha. Thumma aataqa, fa tazawajaha, fa lahu ajron. A slave who fulfilled the two to two of Allah. A man from the people of the book, a true or a Christian who believe in his prophet, Musa, Moses, Isa, Jesus, peace be upon them. Before Prophet Muhammad was sent, and before his call reached him, and, the, and when the Prophet Muhammad was sent, and his call to Islam reached him, he believed in that he would receive the reward. word. Are you hal ikhwatu fi deen? My respected brothers and sisters in Islam, فَعَلَمُوا نُوذِسِ إِنَّا مِمَّا يُحِبُّ اللَّهِ مِنَ الْأَعْمَالِ إِذْخَارُ سُرُورُ عَلَى الْمُسْلِمِ Indeed, after actions like by Allah, is bringing a happiness to a Muslim, a slave Muslim or a worker. Make them happy. Allah will reward you. بَرَكَ اللَّهُ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَجَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا السَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُ
Assalamualaikum Assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The next students on the stage that will be Yasin and Isa. They will talk to us about the qualities that Allah loves. Qualities that Allah loves that will be by Yasin and Isa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are the students of Pastoral Islam Center from Lower Philippi. Our respected elders, we are here to discuss about the qualities which Allah loves and the qualities which Allah dislikes. The qualities which Allah loves are number one, according knowledge, number two, love for peace, number three, trustworthiness, number four, punctuality, number five, obedience, number six, intention. Now let's be together with point number one of acquiring knowledge. Long, long ago, they live a great teacher in Medina. He was known as Iman Malik. Students from all over the world came to learn from him. One day while Iman Malik was giving a lecture, there was a noise outside. The people shout, elephant, elephant. The elephant was not commonly known in Arabia. Most of the people had only heard about it, but they never see it in their whole life. The students attending the lecture were very excited to know that there was an elephant in their midst. They all went outside to have a look at this animal. Iman Malik realized that all students had left classroom except one. His name was Yahya and he had come all the way from Spain to learn. Why do you not join the elders Yahya? Iman Malik asked. There are no elephants in Spain. Why do you not go and see that you never seen before? The boy repelled, my respected teacher, I had come all the way from Spain to seek knowledge about my religion. I have not come here to see an elephant. Iman Malik was very pleased by this youth and he wished him a very success for his future and said, there are no doubt was at an age, my boy. These words say out of love by a teacher like Iman Malik attracted the pleasure of Allah and the young lad here he had become a great scholar of his time in Spain. The qualities which Allah loves, the qualities which Allah dislikes, number one, show off, number two, cursing, number three, drugs, number four, games of chance, number five, wastefulness and mislanesis. Now let's be together about this point of wastefulness and mislanesis. A Muslim should moderate in his attitude to wealth and positions. He needs money in order to live and support his family. But money and positions should not become a chief interest in Amy life. For some people, money is the most important thing in their life, more than truth, justice, kindness, and respect to other people's lives. Wealth became like a god to them. They forget about misfortunes and death may separate them from their wealth at any time, leaving them with nothing. A Muslim's aim in life is to serve Allah and seek Allah's pleasure. A Muslim should not use their wealth in useless things or in a wasteful manner. If he has more money than he can reasonably use on necessary or good things, he should give it to a good cause rather than wasting it. He should spend the wealth in a manner to earn good rewards from Allah for his openness, for his own happiness hereafter. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We're very, very close to the end of the program. Um, Insha'Allah, I'm going to call on the stage um, student Muhammad Faiz who will do the Juma Khutbah. Muhammad Faiz on the stage, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Faiz. I come from Montiki Fajrul Islam Center, and I will be giving out uh, Arabic Khutbah. الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا 
من يهده الله فلا مذل له ومن يذلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد قال تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تسألون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يسلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما فإن خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدث بدعة وكل بدعة ذلالة وكل ذلالة في النار وعن معاذ بن جبل رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اتق الله حيث ما كنت وأتبع سيئة حسنة تمحها وخالق الناس بخلق حسن أقول قول هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم من كل ذنب فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله حمدا طيبا كثيرا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه فقال تعالى إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وارض اللهم الخلفاء الراشدين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي رضي الله عنه اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا إننا آمنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وقنا عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين أقوأم عباد الله إن الله يأمركم بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغ يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون أقم الصلاة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, We have come to the end of our program First of all, I want to apologize to some of the students that we didn't call on the stage. Because of the time, we are a bit compressed with the time and Maghrib is very close right now. So we are forced to end the program. So for those students who did not come on the stage, we apologize, inshallah, there will always be next time for you to stand on the stage. Um, right now, I would like to welcome Muhammad Shafiq on the stage who will do the vote of thanks. Shukran uh, Sheikh Umar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, we've reached the business end of uh, things, so I'm the only one standing between uh, yourself and the supper this evening. So I'll try and be as quick as uh, possible. Um, I don't know if you know, but something quite interesting this year, 2023. Uh, I can't believe it, but in 1993, is when Fajr islam actually started. And that's exactly 30 years ago. So this is actually their 30th anniversary. And just uh, if you know Sheikh Salama 
and how humble he is and the things that he does, you'll know that there's no fanfare with him. If you tell him, look, you've got to have a, a function for the 30th, he'll say, no, that's not necessary. So uh, it's a remarkable achievement. And um, I personally believe this man is a man of miracles. Um, if you look at in the short space that he was here, if you think for yourself, all of us as we're sitting here, part of our work on this earth is to spread the deen of Islam. And we spread, spread the deen of Islam as a way of life. And if you just look at Sheikh Salama, his first language is not English. He's come here. So in other words, if I were to ask you, come, let's go and find 10 people to spread the deen to, let's see how difficult that is going to be. So imagine somebody comes from, not from another country, from Egypt for this matter, and then he comes and he decides, I'm going to spread the deen, but he doesn't speak English. On top of that, where does he go to? He goes to the township to start. So there were very few believers in him. But if you look today, there are thousands, literally thousands of people that have taken the name of Islam under his hands. And this Allah Akbar, Allah Ta'ala must bless him, is really an angel that has been sent to us. And he's actually doing the work that we're supposed to do. He is ably assisted by Sheikh Usama, I must say. He is also another angel that moves around everywhere and makes sure that all the centers do what they're supposed to do and, and have whatever the requirements are. Um, if you look at, we started off with the Kailicha Center. We've also got a center in Philippi. We've got a center now in Samora, Michelle. Uh, our head office is close by uh, in Greenhaven where Sheikh Wasfi um, ably makes sure everything is going according to plan. And the last gentleman that was up here, would you believe it, that that center where he comes from is in Montague Springs, two and a half hours away. That center only opened up last year. And would you believe it as well, that when we went there, well, there were less than five Muslims. And today they have over 150 students there. Fajr islam has over 450 students. Now, if you think of it, if you run a small little operation, a small business, and many of you are business people here, you know what kind of expenditures you go through. We've got over 25 staff that Fajr islam is responsible for. And obviously, it's not possible to run such an organization with the assistance of all of you that are sitting here before us and many of those that could not make it this evening. I want to just give a special thanks to um, Uncle Rashid from Vidbank and all uh, the others that has come with him. Uh, those people that have come from afar, also from uh, Johannesburg and also from Maputo, and also for the, the, the people that have put that group together to make sure of the logistics so that they can be here with us. It is through them and many other people they support that we are able to continue and do what we need to do as Fajr islam And I'm really proud and I make shukr to Allah Ta'ala that I'm a part of, of Fajr islam and that we can continue to spread the deen. One other thing that I also want to just bring to your attention, if you look at it today, all of us, or many of us have got children, and we look to, we look to send our children to school. We have to choose a school. Now, Many of us choose Islamic schools similar to Oracle or Islamia. But just think of it, if you're in the township, what are your choices? Yes, we can offer them madrasa. Yes, we've got a nursery school. But what do we do thereafter? Do we just send them to the dogs? And, and then what happens to their deen? So what we've embarked on, we've embarked on opening a school in Kailicha. We've already got the classroom set up. And would you believe it? Whatever Sheikh Salama touches, it's like gold. He, he can perform miracles. I'll give you this, if you just bear with me for one minute. I know you guys are all hungry and we want to serve, but just give me one minute. I'll explain to you a, a little story that happened in Kailicha. In Kailicha, we decided that we're going to open up a school. And you know when you want to open up a school and register it with the Western Cape Education Department, there are many, many 
um, hurdles that you have to cross. What happened on that day, we called the inspector from the Western Cape Education Department from the area. We asked him to come to school. And we met there with Sheikh Salama and one of the other members. And then what happened was we came into one of the classrooms. Now, typically when you go into a classroom where you have small students, when somebody, an adult comes into the class, everything stops, the lesson stops, and they greet. Can you remember that from school? So what happened on this occasion, the students got up to greet, but when they show, saw Sheikh Salama, they went up, one of the students went up, and they began to go and kiss his hand. So they kissed Sheikh Salama's hand, he went to go sit down. Then the next student got up and did the same, and went to go sit down. Soon there was a whole row of kids going up to kiss, kiss Sheikh Salama's hand. And this inspector, who is from the area in Kailicha, he found this strange. We had to explain to him what the greeting is, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And he wanted to know what is this kissing of the hand. And once we explained to him what this is and what we are teaching, we're teaching them that Islam is a way of life and this is how we teach akhlaq. This is how we teach manners to them. He was so astounded he fell off his feet and he said, you know, can't you open the this, this school up immediately? This is what we need in this area. I'm not stopping you. You have all my permission. Please open up the school as soon as you can. These facilities that you have are even better than many of the schools in the area. So you have my blessing. Please start the school. Now, is that not a miracle on its own? I'm involved in another school in Cryfontaine, and it's taken us over two years to get the registration through. Here, we've got one more document ready that we need to do. And uh, inshallah, next year, when we meet here again, inshallah, we'll be able to tell you that we've got a fully fledged school. So as I explained to you, Sheikh Salama and his team, Fajr Islam, they are surrounded by miracles and it's a pleasure for us to be in his company. So shukran once again to all those hardworking teachers, the teachers from Montague, the teachers from Philippi, the teachers from uh, Samora Michelle, uh, as well as uh, or as well as Kai Licha, and all those other uh, people in the background. I always forget the committee members, Kaf Nabi and uh, Uncle Saidi, and all the others that do some tireless work in the background. Sheikh Usama, the driver Hassan. Um, we appreciate all the work that all of you carry out to make Fajrul Islam a success. But as, um, as you know, um, from year to year, we do different projects, but we depend on you um, to support us and to make sure that you know, we cover all our monthly expenses. This is, an, this is a, a task which we have to spread the deen, and we are, we are given the opportunity through Fajr Islam to participate. If we can't do it on our own, at least make dua for Fajr Islam, and if you can contribute, please contribute generously. We've even made a um, credit card facility available, so if there's anybody that um, does not carry, many don't carry cash anymore, we do have uh, some credit card machines available, so uh, later on we'll come around and we'll see if uh, anybody would like to donate to Fajr Islam. Um, I also, before I forget, uh, Sheikh Umar, shukran very much for officiating this function so eloquently, and shukran everybody for coming. And uh, inshallah, I hope all of you enjoy. Oh, sorry, we must also thank the caterers for the work they've done. And um, I mustn't forget uh, one of the very um, first committee members, um, Uncle Yusuf. He's not uh, experiencing the best of health. And inshallah, we must make dua for him. He's not here, but he's, he's really got Fajr Islam at his heart. And I also miss Munir's father that has passed on. He's also an audience supporter of... Uh, of Fajr Islam. We thank the Musa family for, for, for hosting this function also this evening and shukran for everybody for attending. Shukran for your attention and I hope you guys enjoy the meal this evening. Shukran. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we say shukran to Brother Muhammad Shafika for the vote of thanks. Um, are you all ready for eating? Oh, mashallah, I can see that the sound sounds very alive right now when you speak about food. We all are hungry, inshallah, we're going to eat just now. Um, just uh, 
lastly, we would like to ask uh, Sheikh Abu Bakr uh, Abdul Rauf to do a short dua, inshallah, a closing dua. Then, inshallah, you will be ready to eat. Jazakumullah khair. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Before I make the dua, it will take one minute only. You know, Alhamdulillah, I've been sitting there now uh, two and a half hours there listening to the beautiful, you know, uh, the children when they were reciting. And uh, but there is one man, one man. Alhamdulillah, I really admire. I have to commend him. Alhamdulillah, the hard work he was doing since the time he arrived here in South Africa. Alhamdulillah, that should have been our responsibility as ulama, as du'at. We had to do that. But Alhamdulillah, Allah Ta'ala has guided, you know, brother, Shaykhuna Al-Fadil, Sulaiman Salama. There's one hadith I have to mention to you very short. لَأَنْ يَهْدِيَ بِكَ اللَّهُ رَجُلًا خَيْرٌ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا فِيهَا If you are instrumental, if you are the one who has caused someone and you have, you know, been part of that hidayah reaching his heart to make him utter the kalima of لا إله إلا الله محمد الرسول الله which the Honorable Sheikh is doing on a daily basis خَيْرٌ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا It is better than the entire world and what it contains. This man, Alhamdulillah, Allah Ta'ala has really blessed him. And we must make dua, Allah Ta'ala must grant him, inshallah, a long life, inshallah, with health and strength, so that he will, you know, can continue for many, many more years to come, inshallah. Jazakumullah khayran, khayr al anna, minna, yani min ahli Cape Town, nashkurukum. Yani lil masuliyat ladhi akhadta minna, alhamdulillah, hadha kana masuliyatuna. Masuliyatuna. Barakallahu feekum. Then there's just a short dua I was asked to make. Uh, Brother Muhammad Noor, uh, Musa Munir's father. And then it's also the uh, Sheikh uh, Brother Noor Muhammad Karim, who still, he disappeared now for the last four years, never found. We make dua, Allah Ta'ala must grant him safety, inshallah, and he will return back to his family, inshallah, healthy and you know, and, and, and uh, very, very soon, inshallah. And, and there is uh, uh, some people who pass on. Madam Begum pa Parker, Shamsad Begum, and Mu'adeen uh, Karim, and all the others, Uncle Ibrahim and family and everyone. Inshallah, make dua. Allah Ta'ala must accept our dua, inshallah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه جمعين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتوب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم وفر حظنا من التوفيق واهدنا إلى طريق التحقيق وامنأ قلوبنا من الإيمان والتصديق يا شفيق يا رفيق اللهم اجعلنا من ضنائنك الذين تحيين في عافية وتميتهم في عافية وتعصمهم من مضلات الفتن وتحفظهم من آفات الزمن وعافنا في الدين والبدن ولا تشتد همنا في أودية الدنيا وحبب إلينا كل ما تحب يا بر يا وصول بحق حبيبنا محمد الرسول اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وسكن في الجنة وتجاوز عن سيئاتهم واحشرهم مع النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا ذلك الفضل من الله وكفى بالله عليما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وأصحابه وبارك وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم Uh, sorry about that. Just before your, your, your supper there, there's one very important person that I forgot to mention in the front, and that was our guest speaker for today. I'll uh, call on Sheikh Salama to personally thank Balana Aku for delivering his uh, speech. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, we all have, first we have to thank Allah سبحانه وتعالى على نعمة الإسلام for making all uh, of us are Muslims الحمد لله and uh, we all thank مولانا uh, مفتي أكو we say جزاك الله خيرا millions مفتي سب and إن شاء الله we're going to add you as one permanent founder member of Fajr al-Islam إن شاء الله so we're going to uh, call uh, Mufti Akku, inshallah, like every weekend to pay us a visit at Fajr Islam. Shukran, jazakallahu khayran for your effort. And may Allah reward you and reward you all the group that uh, in your company. Wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Jazakumullah khayr. Jazakumullah khayr. Please, can we give a big round of applause for this beautiful program for Sheikh Suleiman Salama, for the students of Fajrul Islam and their teachers. Jazakumullah khair. And we want to say shukran as well to the, the team that was here to provide the sound. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them as well. Inshallah, we are ready to eat. We say shukran to you for blessing us with your presence here today. And inshallah, enjoy the food and may you have the safe travel back home. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Right now, we're going to have our guest speaker, Mufti Muhammad Aku, who is going to speak to us. But please, if I can just ask the, um, the cameraman to not take any video, do not point the... Um, uh, your camera to move to Aku because he does not like the video. So Jazakumullah Khair. If we can uh, have um, our guest speaker, Shah Muhammad, move to Aku. Faliyatafadl Mashkura. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah wa khairan wa barakallahu fikum. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا ومطاعنا ومولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم قال رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي يا رب صلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم الحمد لله respected honorable fathers mothers brothers and sisters and beloved students Alhamdulillah, may Allah accept your efforts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase these efforts on the children of this ummah. And really, we are so fortunate to be from the ummah of the greatest of Allah's creation. Imagine Allah gave us such a Nabi, Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was prophesied in every book of every Nabi of Allah. Every Nabi of Allah that came to this world Right from Adam alayhi salam, via every Nabi of Allah, foretold his people about Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imagine in Surah Ali Imran, the Quran Kareem states, after a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir raheem, wa idh akhadha allahu meethaqan nabiyyeen, lama ataytukum min kitabi wa hikma, thumma jaakum rasoolum musaddiqun lima ma'akum, la tu'minunna bihi, this is a pledge Allah makes with all the Anbiya, every Nabi of Allah. Now imagine, every Nabi is so special. Every Nabi is great. But Allah Ta'ala says to every Nabi of Allah, مِثَاقًا nabiyin That you will uphold Allah's command and advocate Allah's deen. But thumma ja'akum rasool. The tanween comes for ta'zeem. Then there comes a great Nabi. If he is to come in your time, you are to support him fully. And then, and you are to help him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So every Nabi of Allah is told about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But I want to give a few examples. Because remember, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came into this world in this month. It was the month Rabi'ul Awwal, either the 8th or the 9th or the 12th. There's different opinion concerning that. It was the year 571 after Isa alayhi salam. The 20th or the 22nd of April. 
the greatest of Allah's creation, came into this world. But prior to his coming into this world, even the books the Christians and the Jews have, our Muhammad وسلم, is mentioned in there. So in this discussion, I want to mention a few verses so you and I can remember and share this message with our Christian and non-Muslim associates, customers, colleagues, employers, tenants, landlords, teachers. Let's take a few verses. For example, Genesis. Genesis is the first chapter in the Bible. Just now I'll tell you about the Quran Sharif and the Quran and the Hadith we know of. But I want you to share this with the non-Muslim associates we have and colleagues and neighbors and friends. Let's take a few verses. Genesis chapter 17 verse 20. Here Allah says to Ibrahim alayhi salam, to Abraham, that I will make your son Ismail and his progeny a great nation. Such a nation that will bear the fruit. Now I want you to ask your Christian associates, what is meant by this fruit? And who is Ismail? Isn't he the brother of Isaac, Ishaq alayhi salam? And now they know this from the Bible, that Ismail alayhi salam was born when Ibrahim alayhi salam was 86. Ishaq alayhi salam was born when Ibrahim alayhi salam was 100 years old. So they know the first born of Ibrahim alayhi salam was Ismail alayhi salam. And here it's clear in this chapter 17, 20, and then chapter 20, verse 17, both these chapters mention clearly, Allah says to Ibrahim alayhi salam, the verses say to Hajar, I will accept Ismail and make him a nation that will bear the fruit. Now I want you to ask our Christian associates and friends, what is this fruit? Does it mean literally fruit? What it means is, that Muslims are those who will uphold the command of the Almighty God. Whatever the time when it is time to pray, Muslims will leave everything and they will pray. Alcohol will be available. They will not take a drop into their mouths. They will not partake of swine. They will uphold the command of Almighty God. This is bearing the fruit. This is one thing I want you to share with all our friends. And remember, we live in South Africa. What's the percentage of Muslims? 3%. This message has to be taken to the 97% of humanity. That's in our country, 97% who are non-Muslim. Let's take a few verses before we get to an important discussion. Another, another mention is in the Song of Solomon. Suleiman alayhi salam praises a Nabi of Allah. And if you look into the descriptions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he is describing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Our Nabi, chapter 5, Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 10. His eyes, his walk, his gait, his beautiful hair, his height, his chest. And in this chapter 5, verse 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, verse 16 states in the English translation, and he is altogether lovely. Now you open the Hebrew Bible. It clearly says there, wa kulluhu muhammadim in the present day prevalent Hebrew Bible, that he is Muhammad the Great. Im in Hebrew is plural. He is the Great Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's name is in their books. But treacherously did they translate a proper noun. A pronoun was translated into a descriptive noun to camouflage and make ambiguous the actual intent of who is referred to here very clearly. In Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, now write it down if you're going to forget. You have neighbors, you have to show this to them. Deuteronomy is a chapter, is a surah in their book. 18.18, 18, Allah says to Musa alayhi salam, I will send to them a prophet like you, O Moses, from their brethren, from the brothers of the Jews, meaning the brothers of the children of Isaac are the children of Ismail. Ishaq and Ismail. He will not speak of his own accord, but what I put in his mouth, so shall he speak. Now you can tell your Christian friend, who's like Moses? Is Jesus like Moses? No. In every way, Jesus is not like Moses. And according to them, they worship Jesus. In every aspect. Now I'm not going to go through all with you, but you can analyze it logically yourself. How is Musa alayhi salam like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa That is why Musa alayhi salam is the second repeated, second oft repeated Nabi of Allah in the Quran, Quran Kareem. How many times is he mentioned? 136 times. 
But if Musa is mentioned so many times, how many times is Muhammad addressed in the Quran? 2,672 times. He is the addressee of the Quran. He is the greatest of Allah's creation. Allah never addresses him by his name. Never will you find Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa To such an extent, the Quran Kareem says, لا تجعلوا دعاء الرسول بينكم كدعاء بعضكم بعضا Do not address him by his name because of his glory and greatness like you address any person of any stature. Do not address Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa by his name because of his status. The Quran Kareem addresses him with title throughout. Anbiya were addressed by their names. Ya Musa, Ya Isa ibn Maryam, Ya Yahya, Khudil Kitab bi Quwa, Ya Dawood, Inna Jalna ka Khalifa. Nowhere in the Quran Kareem is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam addressed by his name, Ya Muhammad. But throughout the Quran, Ya Ayyuh al-Rasul, Ya Ayyuh al-Nabi, Ya Ayyuh al-Muzammil, Ya Ayyuh al-Mudathir. Five times does Allah mention him as the third person where his name Muhammad وسلم, with great respect is taken. Muhammadur Rasulullah. Allah speaks of him, not in address. Isa's prophecy. So Allah Ta'ala mentions him as the third person. One or two more prophecies. That's the Old Testament. What about the New Testament? New Testament they refer to as the, the book revealed to, revealed to Isa alayhi salam. So tell our Christian friends that, oh my friend, tell me, didn't Jesus say that, oh my people, there's many p things I want to share with you, but you cannot bear them right now. And then he says, as the chapter John carries on, it's expedient that I go. If I go not, he cannot come. If you ask the Christian, who's this he speaking, referring to? He says, no, the Holy Spirit. But you have to tell your Christian that tell me, wasn't the Holy Spirit there with Jesus? He'll say, yes, yes. This is how you'll catch him. And you'll open his mind. Not to catch him, to disgrace him. To catch him, to guide him. We don't want to disgrace him. We want to save him from Jahannam. Tell him, wasn't the Holy Spirit there with him? Yes, he was. So then doesn't the verse say clearly, if I go not, he cannot come. This refers to a person. Then you tell him, wasn't John? Who can tell me who is John? Who can tell me who's John? Correct. Hazrat Yahya alayhi salam. Wasn't John in the chapter John asked three questions? What did they ask Yahya alayhi salam? In the Bible it's mentioned. Are you the Messiah? Meaning Jesus Christ. He said, I'm not. I'm not Jesus. Then they asked Yahya alayhi salam. Are you Elijah? Because the Jews believed that Elijah was to return because he was raised to the heavens. He says, I am not. Then they asked him, are you that prophet? Which prophet? Prophesied in the books. He said, I am not. Now you ask the Christian, who's that prophet? He says, no, that's also Jesus. How can the first question and the third question refer to Jesus? So you have to open his mind and let him see. Even your book speaks of Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Back to our theme, respected ummatis of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Mothers. Brothers, elders, youth, students, Allah bless you. Allah sent every Nabi, وَكَانَ النَّبِيُّ يُبْعَثُ إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ خَاصَّةً Every Nabi was sent to his people, his tribe, his community, even Jesus. He was not sent to the Gentiles, the non-Jews, the non-Israelites. وَبُعِثْتُ You know the Arabic. وَبُعِثْتُ Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I have been designated and sent وَبُعِثْتُ إِلَى النَّاسِ عَامَّةِ I have been sent to humanity in totality. This is in the Ahadith Sahih. What about the ayat of the Quran? When Allah Ta'ala in Surah Araf speaks of the Anbiya alayhi musalam, Allah mentions Nuh alayhi salam to his people, Ibrahim alayhi salam to his people, and yes, he did travel, other people as well. Lut alayhi salam to his community, Dawood alayhi salam to his community. After that, Allah Ta'ala says, O oh Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Qul, you tell them. The Quran draws a clear distinction. Qul, Ya ayyuhan nas, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum jami'ah. Tell them, I am Allah's Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to humanity in totality. O oh Muhammad, and in Surah Anbiya, Surah Maryam, Surah Taha, Surah Anbiya discusses Anbiya alayhi salam in an amazing sequence because these three chapters are together. At the end of Surah Anbiya, the Quran Kareem, so to say, tells us the cherry on the top. Wama arsalnaka illa rahma lil alameen. 
تبارك الذي نزل الفرقان على عبده ليكون للعالمين نذيرا analyze his amazing life from day one he came for humanity's salvation look at it logically 23 years to guide humanity and Allah Ta'ala made it that he was to reach the whole wide world and he fulfilled his responsibility he did his duty who hasn't done their duty that is my question to, to you when Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi fulfilled his responsibility when the Sahaba Kiram أُولَٰئِكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّبِيِّ وَحِزْبِهِ وَلَوْ لَا هُمُ مَا كَانَ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُسْلِمُ وَلَوْ لَا هُمُ كَادَتْ تَمِيدُ بِأَهْلِهَا وَلَكِنْ رَوَاسِيهَا وَأُوتَادُهَا هُمُ وَلَوْ لَا هُمُ كَانَتْ ظَلَامًا بِأَهْلِهَا وَلَكِنْ مَصَابِيحُهَا وَنُجُومُهَا هُمُ If it wasn't for the Sahaba رضي الله عنهم, they wouldn't be a Muslim on the face of the earth. If it wasn't for Sahaba, everything would be dark. It was them who brought deen and they were the light and the chandeliers and the stars that illuminated the entire universe. If Muhammad fulfilled his responsibility and that is what we believe, Sahaba fulfilled their responsibility. Why does Allah say to this ummah, Kuntum khaira ummah, you are the best of all nations. In which surah of the Quran is this chapter? Who can tell me? In which surah is this chapter? Surah Al Imran. Well done, Sheikh. Surah Al Imran. And this, sur this, this ayah was revealed in a context. Because remember, Surah Baqarah was the first surah to be revealed in Medina Munawwara. In Makkah Mukarramah, there's 86 chapters. Now, when making tilawah of the Quran, on the right hand side of the surah, you'll find the number in the sequence of the surah. On the left hand side, you'll see a number in the approximate time this chapter was revealed. So, Surah Baqarah is 87, the first surah in Medina Munawwara. Surah Ali Imran is 89. Surah Baqarah predominantly discusses the Jewish community, guiding Muslims, showing Muslims how to call the Jews to Islam. Why? Because the Jews were the residents of Medina Munawwara. They were staying in Medina. Why were they living in Medina Munawwara? Because their books clearly described not only Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, their books also described the city of Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. They knew Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Doesn't Surah Baqarah clearly elucidate that they recognized Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam like they recognized their own children? You know your child, my mother. You, the children are reading. The child that came from your stomach, you know that child. Allah says, الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ يَعْرِفُونَهُ كَمَا يَعْرِفُونَ أَبْنَاءَهُمْ Hundred children are playing. Your child, you can make him out even from his rear. Even if you can see his back. Allah Ta'ala says, the Jews knew Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ditto exactly like you make no mistake when you see your own child. But now, the big question, why didn't many of them accept him? Many of them did accept. That's why as Muslims, we don't make a blanket statement. Many of the Jewish community became Muslim. There's a list of many Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, who come from them. And among them, our mother. Who can tell me? Who's our mother? She comes from a Jewish background. And she became our mother. Who can tell me? What's her name? Hazrat Safiya, mashallah. Hazrat Safiya, binti Huyay bin Akhtab. Her father was the king of the Jews. Allah gave her hidayah. What a great Sahabiyah. So we love humanity. We want guidance for humanity. In the time of Hazrat Umar, Safiya radiallahu anhu, Hazrat Safiya radiallahu anhu was very kind and used to make ikram of the Jewish community. So Hazrat Umar asked her, why do you do this? Because people say you respect the Sabbath. She said, no, I respect Jumu'ah. Because some people were trying to make fitna. She, she, Hazrat Umar asked her, went to her, oh my mother, is this true? She said, no, I respect Jumu'ah. We are Muslim. And I heard you very kind and you make ikram of the Jewish community. She says, she says, I do make ikram of them to win them over to Islam because they are my family. This is the beauty of Islam. So in this chapter, Allah says they recognize Muhammad like they recognize their own children. What this means is, what stopped them from becoming Muslim? It was a disease in the heart called racism. What is racism? To look down upon another. That, oh, why did he come from the Arab? That's why Muhammad Rasulullah's first efforts in Makkah Mukarramah, there was Mu'akha, brotherhood. In Medina Munawwara, even before the construction or the completion of Masjid al Nabawi, in a Sahabi's house, Abu Talha radiallahu anhu, Nabi took a Muhajiri, took a Ansari, 
and said, we are brothers. Remove this racial discrimination. That's why in Tirmidhi, the last ahadith are repeated. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, don't call the slogans of Jahiliyyah because this is the fuel of hell. When Sahaba asked, what are the slogans of Jahiliyyah? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that slogans of Jahiliyyah will take a person to hell even if salah and fasting is in his life. What is the slogans of Jahiliyyah? To feel I am better than others because of my color, because of my race, because of my ethnicity, because of my nationality. This is taboo. This deprived the Jewish community of embracing Islam. To crux. What's the surah after that? Ali Imran. Ali Imran, when was it revealed? The second half discusses Uhud and Hamra al-Asad, two expeditions. The first half of the chapter discusses the arrival of a Christian delegation. 60 Christians from Najran came to Medina Munawwara. This chapter of the Quran was revealed where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa with this chapter invited them to Islam. And this is teaching us. That's why my mother, my sister, my mother with every sister. My sister, you have to invite the sisters. My brother, you have to invite the brothers. What Sheikh is doing, what the community is doing is so amazing. And Alhamdulillah, teaching our children. We can see the efforts. Alhamdulillah. But what about you? What is your part? In our businesses, in our workplaces, in our neighborhood, in our offices. Every customer, every client, every patient or doctor, every client or lawyer, every businessman or entrepreneur. We do million dollar deals with them. But can't we sit with them in our office, order him a cup of tea and tell him, brother, I know you for so many years. There's a message I have to share with you that life is so short. I want you to see the Quran. How amazing is this book? It's a book of guidance. It's a book of salvation. It's a book of peace. My time has elapsed, but this is my request to every one of you. Sheikh is doing a, a great deal. He's come to help us. But what about you and I? What is our role? Is our role just to hear others are spreading the deen and you and I relax? No. What does, does Allah say in the Quran? Qul, tell them, O oh my Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Hadihi Sabili And I'll be finishing with this With this question I have for you I'm translating this verse And I'm coming back to this question Tell them This is my road I am an inviter to Allah With wisdom and insight Ala basira Ana I am an inviter It doesn't end there Waman ittaba'ani And every Muslim whether male, whether female, whether young, whether old, whether doctor, whether lawyer, whether entrepreneur, whether the president, whether the prime minister, whether the mayor, whether the street sweeper. This verse of the Quran says we all have to invite to Islam, not just character. Coupled with character and honesty is to say to a brother, look into it. Now I come to this final question. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa fulfilled his responsibility. Sahaba fulfilled their responsibilities. And how many people in the world don't know about Islam? What are we waiting for to tell them? We're not scared to say I'm selling my car. We're not scared to say I got a, 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 a premises vacant. We're not scared to offer people that and advertise that. But to tell people about Allah, are we ashamed or are we scared? This is an indictment and this is a failure on our, on, on our part that we are failing dismally. This is something that we have to correct and understand that this is our duty. Invite to Islam. And you know what? They will accept. They will tell you, thank you, sir. No one ever told me this. I really wanted to know. And if you want a few booklets to help you how to invite, you can speak to me and my brothers. We'll give you something to read and share with your fellow Christians. And lastly, make a gift bag with some chocolates and a nice, beautiful translation of the Quran Kareem. Give it to all your non-Muslim teachers, friends, customers. Tell him, friend, I know you for so long. It's a gift for you. He'll phone you a few weeks later or a week later, he'll tell you, Brother Muhammad, Brother Ibrahim, this has been the best gift I've received in my entire life. This, my brother, you have to do with the men and my sister, you have to do with the woman folk. Who is going to make this intention that I am going to start with five parcels? A Quran translation with some lit lit literature, with some ikram and give it to my friends I know for so long and I didn't invite to Islam to save my back on judgment day. Who's going to do this inshallah? Pick up your hand if you make this intention that you're not going to leave Shaykh only to do the da'wah but you and I also have to do it because Rasulullah sallallahu said Allah will ask you and I on judgment day what stopped you from telling him about me? The servant of Allah will say Allah I was scared of them. Allah will say 
Why do you fear them? Shouldn't you have feared standing before me on judgment day? فَإِيَّا يَكُنْتُ أَحَقٌّ أَنْ تَخْشَى الْحَدِيثُ الصَّحِيحُ رَوَاهُ بْنُ مَاجَ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ الْمُبِينِ. I see very few people made the intention, but okay, others made the intention in the heart, inshallah. Shukran to Mufti Saab. Jazakallah khairan for the beautiful message and Allah reward you. Allah ma'ameen. Inshallah, we're going to uh, announce a da'wah course at Fajr al-Islam, inshallah, soon. We'll put the ad on the radio and our Facebook and on the media, inshallah. So whosoever is interested, inshallah, to join us, inshallah, everybody's welcome. The course is going to be free for charge. We uh, uh, give just the start, how to approach an un-Muslim to uh, introduce Islam to him. Shukran, Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah khair. We say shukran to Mufti Muhammad Ako for that beautiful uh, talk. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and uh, protect him so he can continue to benefit all of us. And we say shukran to Sheikh Salim and Salama for that uh, announcement.